Hi everyone. Uh, two little things to uh, tell you about first off. Uh, if my voice sounds really weird, like uh, Sling Blade, mm -hmm, it's uh, because I'm getting over this really massive bad cold that I had and I coughed my lungs out and I lost my voice. So this is the way you're going to hear me tonight. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, second of all, there's supposed to be a massive storm coming through my area, and as you already know, I always record my shows. So, since it's being recorded, um, if I get cut off halfway through, I'll start it back up um, 8, 9, or whenever I can. Um, tonight's show, I'm actually going to do, um, uh, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. All right. Uh, tonight's show, I'm actually doing cybernetic arms and gloves. Uh, well, I'm going to do one cybernetic arm and one glove. Um, I actually uh, did this at Fanboy Expo in Knoxville this past weekend. It was really great. Got to meet um, all kinds of celebrities there. Anthony Michael Hall, Joey Lauren Adams, uh, Josh Stewart, uh, Dustin Diamond, uh, Sid Haig, Bill Mosley, Elvira, everybody else. Uh, William Catt from Greatest American Hero. Actually got an autograph from him, which I didn't even expect. So, you know, had a great time there. Came up with some great things. And I was bored and I did cybernetic arms. So, I'm going to do that for you today. Um, as with always with this show, I do have a live call in. <laughs> yes, you will hear this voice even in the phone call. So, you can... Um, just give me a call on the phone number that's on the screen, and I'll answer any questions that you have. Um, again, unofficially sponsored by Mountain Dew. <laughs> Catman Dew. Uh. So. Uh. I got my sponges and brushes and colors right here. I have a mirror right here, which I don't really need, because I'm not really going to be painting my face. So, really, there's no need to have a mirror. Uh, but, look, you can see yourself. Ha, 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 Yeah, that's a stupid joke. All right. So, to start off with, some of the things you need to learn uh, when doing cybernetic arms is uh, where the joints are, what the... Um, uh, reflections, the um, what you would call chrome effect on certain things, the reflection of outside objects onto uh, reflected metal. So, uh, not all cybernetics are really highly detailed and stuff. Some of them have, you know, just flat color. You know, it's just the outside, and you can put some reflection on it and different stuff. You can add in different things into it, um, just like I did with the gloves and, you know, my arm. So, first off, I'm going to do the upper part of my arm up here, where there's not going to be any shielding, um, as in the arm plates that you normally see. Now, what I'm actually taking is, um, these are both chameleon, but they're in uh, fab containers, only because they fit into my kit a little bit easier. Uh, Oh, the quality of the image may not be the, that great, so uh, you're going to have to bear with me. I am going to try to get up as close as possible to the camera so that you can see each little part. Um, that's the best I can do. <coughs> try to adjust this camera so it's a little bit easier on you. Um, so I'm taking chameleon uh, yellow, and I'm taking chameleon gold. And I'm going to blend those colors together. And I have my sponges right over here. So, I'm going to dip it into my uh, Shrek glass that I have water in. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the chameleon yellow. Make sure it's nice and wet. You want it, you want it to pick up um, a lot of color. It'll make it go a lot easier and... If it goes on wetter, that's fine. It'll give a better degree of realism. 
Uh, thank God I have baby wipes. I'm splattering paint all over my couch. So now I'm mixing it in with uh, my chameleon gold. That yeah, is tripping. Because it's nice and wet. So I'm going to take this color. Now that I got loaded up on my sponge, put these over here. Wipe my mess down. Get my baby wipes out later and wipe down my couch. Luckily, it's pleather. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color from here down a little bit past the elbow. And I'm just going to stroke it. Don't worry, you're not trying to get heavy, heavy, heavy color on it. You just want to give it a nice metallic sheen. Nice opaqueness. Can you see that? Okay, so I went down to the elbow. The other thing I'm going to do is right around my wrist, I'm going to put a little bit of the color too. This is going to be the joint where the wrist and the glove meet, or the arm and the glove meet, or the gloves, you know, upper half and arm, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, that thing. So uh, you can also chat with me. I have my chat room open. Um, I only chat on the live stream chat, not on the um, uh, Facebook or the Twitter. So if you want to chat with me, you got to make sure you're on the live stream chat part. All right, so this part here, um, I can make it red. I can make it blue. I can make it orange. I can make it green. I can make it whatever color. Um, for today, I'm going to make it blue. Uh, sort of like in the image. But the thing is, I'm going to stop it right about here. If you see on my arm, I'm going to stop it right about here. And the glove's going to be red. So we're going to have variations of color here. So I'm just going to pick up my metallic blue. And this is a tag pearl metallic blue. Um, I like it, but I like Wolf Metallic Blue better. But I'm not going to waste my girlfriend's Wolf Metallic Blue on my arm. She'll do that herself. <laughs> now, the great thing about having a sponge that's a half moon with a nice straight edge on it, if you see, is that I can actually uh, make the shape of the actual um, arm piece without having to, you know, use a brush to draw in the lines or the outline of it. So, I know I want, this part is going to be a joint right in there. So, I'm going to take up a little bit, over, making sure I stay, uh, keep the yellow there, down. So, I create that kind of a shape, if you can see. With that, I'm going to come down by the elbow, come up, and around the elbow, I'm going to kind of do the same thing with it. I'm going to come up a little bit, but you're not going to really see the back side of my arm. I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's That would take too long, and I would go over my hour that I have. So right now I'm going to just fill in this and I'm going to stop off right there. See? I'm going to come down. I'm just going to fill in all that blue. Mm. 
See, if you had the paint a little bit wetter, you wouldn't have to uh, dip back in. Um, I'm going to go, eh, what the heck. I'm going to go all the way around the arm. So I guess I'll have to do this part here. So luckily, since I left that little part open, I don't get too much transfer into the yellow. Unless it's really hot in the house like it is, and I'm making some transfer because of it sweating off. Uh... We do have a nice breeze coming through the house. That's why the doors are open. If you hear any noise like a dog out there, you know, I know I have my dog in the house, but uh, Okay, so I did my whole arm. And I'm going to take my yellow back and I'm going to Go back over that blue that kind of transferred. I'm going to kind of stroke it. So it disappears. Alright. <coughs> now if you notice, color blocking is probably the best way to do this at first and get it out of the way. Right now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this part right here. The yellow part. I'm going to take another sponge. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of orange. And uh, all these colors except for the brown and the silver and the blue and the black and the white are chameleon. <laughs> the orange is chameleon orange. I'm in love with chameleon paints. So, if you notice with reflection and with um, shadows, the way the metal works is you're always going to have shadow on the bottom part you're going to have reflection on the top part. So the way I'm going to put this orange down is in a way where it's going to look like it's coming from the bottom part of each little segment up. So I'm going to kind of stipple it and kind of draw it up. I'm going to do that for several segments on my arm. If you're wondering what my girlfriend's doing over there, she's putting together her um, glitter sign for the festival this weekend that I'm going to be at, uh, the Blue Plum Festival in Johnson City. If you live in the Southwest Virginia area, come out and visit me. I love meeting people. Yes, come out and meet us. Meet Teresa too. She loves meeting people now. I've always loved meeting people. So she says. But, <laughs> don't raspberry me. Alright, so, as you can see, I just about got it. So I have my orange segments there. I'm going to take the same sponge because I'm pretty much not going to use it um, for the orange anymore. I'm going to pick up my fab brown. You can use any brown. I just happen to have fab dark brown. And I'm going to kind of go back over those orange a little bit just to give it some depth. on the bottom side of the orange I'm using the back of my sponge to kind of lift it up because it's nice and wet hardest part about doing this on yourself is when you do the upper arm you yeah, can't get all the way around And don't worry if you make any mistakes. It's not going to be that big of a deal because of what you're going to do next with it. Okay? 
So now that you have your, you know, your segments there. Now you can do different things. You can use a little bit of shading. And say I take my brown. I'm going to kind of wipe it off on my sponge here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of drag where I think some muscle spots would be. You know, try not to mess up the, the stuff, uh, the lines. Just do a little bit of shading where you think the muscle part would be. Ah, the heat. All right. Now I'm going to take my uh, Mark Reed number whatever. Um, been using it a while now, and the numbers have come off. Huh. I'm thinking it's a number four. <laughs> we'll find out. Um. One person says they don't see me. Um, I don't know why they can't. I'm here. Uh, you might have to refresh your screen if you don't see me. Um, what is your favorite chameleon color? I just started using them and love them too. My favorite chameleon color has got to be the red, the magenta. It is just the brightest color. It goes on so smoothly. Oh, that and the metallic green that they have is just unbelievable. Oh my God. Honey, sorry. no cussing. We're live on the air. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my number four uh, round Mark Reed brush, and I'm going to line each of these, and you'll see what I do when I get to the um, actual where I put the shadows and stuff what I'm going to do with that so I'm going to line the very bottom nice thin line all the way down around Now, if you have bends in your uh, metal, like muscle, it's not going to be a straight line right across. So you're going to have kind of a muscle shape in your chrome or your metal. So you're going to do something like that, if you can see it. See how I outlined it just a little bit? Not a lot. It still goes with the same line, but I've outlined it to where it pops out a little bit more. And it just defines where that muscular area is. Bear with me. I'm trying to talk, and it's very hard for me. I feel like Kim Brennan at Fabaic. She talks so much, she lost her voice. I love Kim Brennan. She's awesome. Alright, so now that I've done that, I'm going to outline my... Uh, metal arm piece using thin black lines for the whole thing
Uh, here comes the bad part. Gotta do behind it. And I don't want to mess up anything. Here's a trick. Put a clean towel in your joint, fold over, and continue. That will keep the transfer and your area looking clean. Which it kind of worked. And it kind of didn't. But that's okay. Things happen all the time like that. Alright. Now as I said before, you can add things in or you can leave it like this. You can take a little bit of white and you can put it where you would think that highlights would be. Now, before you even get to the highlight part, <coughs> taking a filbert, dry brushing just a little bit of black, going where you put the um, thin line for your arm cover. You're going to just drag in a little bit of that black, kind of smudge it in, and you're going to create, you know, the shadow that separates the shiny metal from your forearm plate. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I think. My girlfriend's laughing at me. I would never. And she lies too. Nope. Alright, so I created my uh, drop shadow. If you can see, I'm trying to, I mean... Bear with me, people. I'm working the best way possible with this webcam. All right. So as for the chrome part, you know that this is the lower edge. You know that this is the upper half and stuff up on top. Below that black line is the top. Uh, above the black line is the shadow. I'm going to take a little bit of orange using my chameleon orange. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, okay, I think there's a reflection right about here. And I'm going to pull a little bit of the color down from that black part and make a little area. Okay, you see that? I'm make it a little bit brighter. Now, where that's at, I'm going to go completely all the way down the arm with that. Um, wherever the yellow is but if you notice I'm not actually dragging it all the way down to the bottom I'm creating depth and the illusion that there's a reflection and somebody's car horns going off and it's not my car is it <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> okay, so that was somebody else's, but I tried mine, and it's a little louder. All right, so same thing with that, the top part up here. Now, I'm not just going to have this part here. I'm also going to add in, say, maybe a line of it coming down. Right there, and maybe... line of it and then over here all right now layering because gold uh, when you see it in comic books gold isn't gold gold is um, yellows oranges browns blacks whites it's whatever to create that effect of reflection and chrome uh, if you went to Fabia Sean Avram gave a great class on that. 
I wasn't able to take it. I was in a different class. So, but I'm going to take brown and I'm going to overlap that orange a little bit. You know, go into it a little bit, kind of blend it in. I'm going to put it just on the outside of this orange here. Maybe I won't even put it next to an orange. Maybe I'll stick it in, you know, a little bit next to it, but not on it. Okay, so you see the appearance already, right? Let me see. If I can show you. See that? Okay. Now, I am going to take a little bit of black. Not a lot. And I'm going to just throw it in. In several areas. Now remember, wherever you place it, you got to place it on the next one up the same way. Because it's a reflection and each one is reflecting pretty much the same area. It's the way reflections are. Don't be afraid of it. Be creative. As you see. Now, the last part for that will be the white. So, I'm going to take my tag white that I got over here. I'm going to pick up some of the white. And... Just like so. I'm going to add in the white. Sorry, I know you can't see it. <laughs> if I'm down below, the um, welcome to Catman Do Live. Um, give me a call if you have any questions for some reason. Uh, because I'm having problems here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If you've uh, checked out my show before and you have called in, then you know it's a great feature. So, the last part of this is you got to have a separation. You need to have a separation between the whole thing. So, I'm going to take my number six Mark Reed round. I'm going to pick up straight white. And on the bottom of that black line that I made for the separation of the um, metallic areas, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight that area. And I'm going to do that with each segment.
Now I'm also going to do that with my forearm cover. I'm going to outline just below the black that I put on there to create the highlight for the top of the arm thing. Say the light's coming this way, you're going to have the light hit. Now to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to take it and bring the line out from the corners. Just kind of give it a little bit of a highlight and dimension. If you see what I'm doing here. And within this blue, you can do whatever you want. Okay? But that gives you the what looks like gold metallic on the arm. Let's see. <laughs> I'll make sure to take pictures of this and post it on uh, my Catman Do Face and Body Art page so you can take a look at it. But that's pretty much it for doing like a cybernetic arm. Now, up above it, you can put like another plate up here for, you know, like a shoulder plate. The same way you do the blue. The only reason I do this part is when I'm at uh, conventions and stuff. I'm usually always wearing sleeves because I have a tattoo on this arm that I can't show off. So, if you look, even with my sleeve down, it still looks pretty cool. You know? It looks like I have a cybernetic arm. So, ah. Uh, if you're just joining in, don't worry, you'll be able to watch the live recording um, after the show. Uh, like I said, I know the quality is bad. Um, I wish I can tune it up a little bit and make it look better. Let me see what I can do here. Um, no, quality is all the way up. Uh, can't do anything else for you guys. Uh, the only thing I'm working on is trying to get, you know, uh, YouTube Live so that I can get that up and running, just like Faba TV. But, <clears throat> let me get something to drink. My throat is still hoarse. Or I got a horse in my throat. Either one. Uh, good Mountain Dew. Okay, so now for the glove part. This one's going to be interesting because... I'm actually going to be doing the inside of my hand, too. Ah. All right, let's see if I can get this better. Um, you can see my hand. See the back of my hand. Hopefully, you can see it pretty clear. Uh, let me see if I can turn off this overlay. Okay. Uh, changed it uh, just to the phone number. But you can see my hand. Hopefully clear enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to start off with the palm of my hand and the back side of my hand and putting sort of like a light in it. If you know what I mean. If you saw the picture... Uh, you'll know what I mean, but I'm going to start off with a little bit of white to begin with, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a circle in the palm of my hand. I'm just going to smear it in. You don't have to worry about too much of anything. You know, uh, make a nice circle. All right. On the back side of my hand, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this chameleon yellow. And on the back side of my hand, I'm going to make a circle right in the middle. Now with that circle, I'm going to take a little bit of orange, because I said I wasn't going to use it, but I really am. 
And with that orange, I'm going to put in a little bit of a shadow into my yellow. I'm going to take my yellow again and I'm just going to make sure that I get it all nicely blended together. Like so. I'm going to take a little bit of the white. I'm going to put it on top of the yellow where the highlight would be. Don't worry, it doesn't have to look perfect. It'll look really cool when I'm done. Trust me. Now, this white part on the inside. I'm going to take my blue. And I'm going to kind of give it a blue hint. Like before, take your yellow or your white. You can go on top of that blue and just subdue it a little bit. And there you go. Now, the rest of my hand, okay, and down to the blue, is going to be red. And this chameleon, what used to be magenta, is an incredible red color. I'm telling you, go out and pick it up. I, there's a little bit of black in it, if, if you see that. But it's an incredible red. It's great for Spider-Man, for all kinds of things. You're going to love it. It's hot. It's smearing. My, my elbow's smearing. No! Alright, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to make sure my sponge is nice and wet. And I'll pick up this red. High pigment. Really great. Goes on really quick. Real simple. I'm going to go around the arm first for the glove. Make sure it kind of touches the yellow where the rest is because I'm going to do kind of what I did before. I'm having to adjust myself, sorry. I'm going to come up, down, angle it. Just like so. I'm going to do the same thing. A little bit right there. Come across. A little down. Fill that in. Max, shush. No barking. So. I've got my wrist how I want it. Now, okay, I know it's hard to see. I'm going to pick up a little bit more red and I'm going to do my hand without messing up my couch anymore. Let me move my mouse. Okay, top part of my hand, don't know if you can see it, like so. Just creating the shape that I want. Trying to make a perfect circle with my sponge. Kinda. Almost got it. Color all that red. Thumb, fingers. This is a glove, you're going to color everything. Don't worry about it. 
This paint is awesome. I did this in the beginning of the last day of Fanboy Expo. I did not transfer it onto anybody or their clothes or anything else. I wore it all day. It didn't get messed up until the drive home. Amazing stuff. Amazing. Pick up some more red. Make sure you get around the yellow. Create your circle again. Be as careful as you can. And then color the rest of the hand. My circle is not too much of a circle. Let me try to fix that. That's why you always use a lighter color first because you can always go over it with a darker color and it's not going to have a problem. Make sure you bend your knuckles so that you can get into the cracks and crevices. So out of the six people viewing me right now, uh, none of you want to call in and ask any questions live on the air? Uh oh. You just like watching and probably playing along with this? Painting along with it. Alright, so now I have my hand. Guess what's next? That's right. Black. <coughs> Pretty much black for the rest of it. Uh, you'll we'll have some white at the end for highlights. Alright, so in the palm of the hand, we're going to outline white area. Oh look, my mistake is gone. Haha. <laughs> We're going to go right above it about a quarter inch and we're going to make another circle around that. Well you did tell him to sit honey. Yeah, I did. And where does he normally sit? Around the stuff. <laughs> Yes, if you have a dog and you tell him to sit somewhere, don't put your stuff there. <laughs> so, now I have my circle. I'm going to do the same thing to the front of the hand. Outline with another line about a quarter inch away from that one. I'm just adding in little details as I do it. Now, you do have knuckles on the top. Uh, you can segment out each knuckle if you want with a circle or with a square or whatever shape you want. I'm only doing where the thumb is. I do a circle in that joint. And I do a circle. Make sure you don't have any paint on your fingers that you can transfer. I do a circle on this joint. In this joint. In this joint. And this joint. Now, on the rest of the hand, easiest way to do it is to go directly across 
each of the joints of the rest of the finger not making circles not making anything else just a nice line directly in the joint so when you bend it's not transferring anywhere else it's only staying in that joint it makes for better appearance and you do that through every joint that you have on the inside of your hand even your thumb I'll show you what to do with this part in just a second um, also do the ones right below now usually on a glove it's made up of segments so it can move it can bend so it'll be easier what I do is I take in between each finger and I connect up to that round point right there and because each finger is separate I need to put another one right there next to the pinky finger now what I like to do is I like to kind of round it out, connect it up to the actual joints so you get a nice little kind of a triangular figuration um, right there and I know it's hard to see, it's hard for me to paint and see at the same time but we're gonna do our best here I want you guys to come up with your own cybernetic hands and post them online and get a nice wow out of people So. If you can see that, you're going to notice uh, when I do the front of the hand, it's going to be very similar uh, with the joints, but it's going to be just that little bit different. I'm going to connect this finger Okay, thumb part, where that joint is. I'm going to come out and I'm going to make a line going in and then on the back side I'm going to make it come all the way around trying to follow the joint and it's going to connect up to uh, uh, let me see it's going to connect up to that thumb joint right there anyways and then I'm going to take a line coming down from the inside right directly in the middle of the thumb I'm going to do that same little rounded part right there now the top of the hand is going to be a little bit more difficult for me because I'm going to have to hold it down so you can see but pretty much all the first joints of the hand I'm painting strictly just a line all the way around the fingers and the joints. There's no real reason to get detailed unless you really want to be detailed. This still looks awesome. I had people thinking I was actually wearing an Iron Man glove this weekend. So obviously I was doing something right and I want to show you guys what I did so that you can do it too and fool your friends I know it's probably hard for you to see what I'm doing especially with that calling oh since nobody's calling in um, I'm just gonna hide that so you can see the whole thing and since I'm having problems let's see if I can just get to my hand a little bit better alright you don't need to see me because and it's pretty much the hand that you want to see anyways <laughs> so I'm gonna to continue to make those lines alright now you see um, right here I need to connect this line up to that dot so I'm gonna do it just like so okay now 
I'm going to take, and there's going to be, each of the joints is connected right like that. And then I'm going to take it in between. And it's going to be a nice solid black, kind of rounded onto the knuckle. You want it to look like it's made to be like that. See what I mean? All right, I'm going to do that for each other knuckle. La di da di da. Mm hmm. I done killed the man. I done hit him in the head with a lawnmower blade. Mm hmm. There's blood everywhere. Mm hmm. I promised you guys a video, and even though I'm worse off. Uh, I promised you one, so I'm giving you a video. Alright, now, you're thinking, okay, you connected up the ones on the inside to the dot. Are you going to connect up the ones on the outside? Yes, I am. I'm going to take a line down, and I'm going to connect it up. just like so. I like to have nice rounded areas. I don't want it to be, you know, too crisp. I'm going to do that with each of them. I want it to round out around to the knuckle. I don't know why there's a little girl crying next door. I hope everything's okay. Maybe she got in trouble. But if you can't hear it, don't worry about it. I'm going to do that with each of the knuckles. I'm just going to connect them up. There you go. See that? And then, since there's nothing right here, on my hand. I'm going to take one line and go all the way around and connect it up just like so. Now you're thinking to yourself well what about the wrist? I'm going to show you that next. Your wrist has points where it you know bends too so you want to have a round part there as well now as you know I made it look like it overlapped and you can see that I'm also going to give that a small smaller circle on the inside coming around and line down the middle and it's right where the elbow pins up and down I'm going to do the same thing to this one See? All right. Now we're going to 
outline our yellow part separating the red from the yellow All right, so as you can see, I outlined all the yellow and the red. Um, I'm also going to outline the red of my arm where the glove connects on. Okay. Now, in between these joints, something sort of like what's up here, but it's going to be a lot smaller. I'm just going to take real thin lines and connect up from joint to joint. Don't worry if they're broken lines or not. It's, it's not really going to make a difference. You'll see what I mean when I'm done. So as you see, I created some lines in there as joint lines. With that, because it's a darker region usually on the inside there, I'm going to pick up using the same brush I've been using, the number four. I'm going to take it and pick up a little bit of brown. And I'm going to come in from the joint areas and I'm going to draw it out a little bit or draw it in this is going to create a little bit of a depth for me same thing with the top And it creates a little bit of depth. Alright. It, it's hard to see in this, but really, it's going to work out great. Um, you can also do some details, if you want, into the actual hand itself. And like I did before, I kind of... made segmentation in the glove itself just on the top portion and then I did a little round piece filled that in black just like so see how it just gives it a little bit more you know dimension some detail now now that I've done all this it still looks a little flat it needs some more detail 
So this is where you go in with highlights and shadows. And taking your filbert brush, getting it as dry as possible, and um, I'd use Paradise Black for this because it's so much easier to blend than trying to use Tag. You could also use Fab to blend with. You're going to go in and you're going to create shadows where you perceive shadow to be. Knuckles, segments, you know, you don't want them to be too prominent. Joints. Fingers, whoops. I forgot my thumb. Okay. And this is just creating a little bit of depth for you. Do it in uh, the joints in the wrist area. You know? Create your highlights and shadows. Anywhere you see fit. You could even do it in the palm of your hand, but I wouldn't suggest it. It's great just like this. Um, you might want to do a little bit of shading just on the inside where that ring is. And stuff. So now that you have all that and you've done all your shading, now it's time to do your white again. So, dropping off the black. Picking up the white. Almost done. Oh, I've already gone over an hour. What do you know? This is going to be a long one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get through with this and I guess it's gone over my hour, so um, oh well. Uh, let me see if anybody had anything else to Alright, so we're almost done here. Now we just have to highlight. So, like in here, I like to put in just little highlights. Picked up some black. You can make the highlights any which way you want. That's the way I do it. You also want to make sure that you put highlights into your joints and like in the top the highlights are all going to look pretty much the same on each and every joint like so okay you're going to do the same thing with the joint wheel or access. You're going to do the same thing underneath. And create that three dimensional reflection effect. You're even going to do it to the top parts. Of your segments that you just made.
See how it's starting to pop out already? All right. Your highlighting on these parts is by your own discretion. Do what you want. Do how you want with it. Doesn't have to look pretty. As long as you get your highlights in there. Believe it or not, it's still going to look like a glove and it's still going to be freaking cool. Everybody's going to be like, wow, I want that. Charge accordingly. This, as you saw, is not a quick project. No, I am being quiet. I'm not speaking. There's nothing wrong with your sound. I know I talk a lot, but <laughs> I'm actually being quiet for this part. Trying to get it done with so that you can see the finished product. You can see what you can do with it. You can have your own fun with it. Create your own gloves, your own way. This is the way I do it. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own style. But that's my glove. Highlights and everything. Okay? It's really cool. Kids love it. All kinds of stuff. Now you see this part here? You can do this in any color you want. On the actual arm plates if you want. Add some more dimension. Uh, use my pictures as references if you want to um, my elbow got messed up I'm going to try to fix that after I'm done with the video and take a picture of it so you guys can see it because um, I know you're not getting really good detail on this uh, camera right here so um, you can even do the inside of your palm but it doesn't really matter as long as the outside looks really cool nobody cares about the inside because it's probably going to get messed up anyways but you have that so you can really just you know shock somebody uh, with your whole inside part so there you go there you have it uh, you have the chromium arms with your plates that you can turn into any color you want they're going to be solid metallic details whatever you want to add on it guns anything you can even put uh, tubing in there uh, a little cutout panel with uh, wires and different things. You know, you have your um, sort of your Iron Man glove with a light source or uh, energy source right there with your energy source on the inside. Everything connected up. You know, details, joints, everything makes it look really awesome, really powerful. You have your wrist joints. Your wrist joints, all the you know highlights and everything that you added to it. You can add highlights to almost all of it and just make it look really awesome. So there you go, guys. That's my whole um, one hour, eleven minute, twelve minute, whatever minute <laughs> uh, tutorial today. So um, 
if you have any questions or comments, just leave them on my Facebook business page. I'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. And uh, if you got a suggestion for a tutorial, let me know. See you later.